This is a beginner's guide to base building in Miscreated. I'm Pitstop Head and I have been lucky enough to get into the whitelisted experimental server where they're testing out base building. So what I've done is I've put together this guide which looks at the stuff you begin with in game. Some of the basic structures. You can find more advanced stuff, blueprints around the map, but I thought it'd be a good idea to see what we can start off building. The first most obvious thing is the crafting system's changed. For anybody who understands or has played Miscreated, you can, you're used to seeing six slots here where you can just drag things into. Well, that's changed. Now we have a series of options and a series of menus. Uh, cloth, medical, sand, structures, weapons. What we're going to look at is the structures. It pings to metal. You then have tire and wood. Most of the things that we look at in this video are in wood. Metal is just sheet metal. Tire, um, you can create stacks of tires uh, as structures. And then wood. Now wood has loads of uh, options on the third menu. Components, you can see here. Um, doors, furniture lights, other which is your plot stand, ramps, storage, walkways and walls. There are some things missing that you'd expect to find like maybe foundations. You will get those in game as you explore. The tools are pretty basic. You will need a hatchet to harvest wood which is that item there which can then make lumber and that lumber is then used to make your structures and you need the hammer to harvest metal which we cover later in the video and that's used to make things like doors. Right, let's have a look at some of the structures. Before you can build any structures you need to claim the land and to do that you need to build one of the signs such as this, the plot sign. You can see it here. Now this particular item if you craft it, you need to go to uh, walls and, uh, sorry, the third menu and other. The plot sign there it requires two lumber, which is four wood piles combined to make the two lumber, and one nails. Now, um, you have to search around for the nails. So that's um, that can be quite tricky to find nails, but you generally go to stores and you'll find them there. Once you've made the sign, you just have to right click on it when it's in your inventory and it will give you the option to place it. This is the 1.3 times 1 times 1 walkway. Let's place that item here. Right click it and place. You can see it there. You can shift it around. It's very detailed. Items do not clip together. So you'll notice if you're building it on a slope, okay, it doesn't necessarily match up. It won't clip or click into place. So you have to carefully find a spot where it will stand. And sometimes the best way to do this is to crouch because your movements are smaller. This is the 1.3 times 3 times 1 walkway. You can see it here, it's much longer. This is the 2x2 two two wall. Now, you can see you can place the wall separately or you can place it actually up on the platform or the walkway like so two pointers worth knowing if you move while you're crafting an item it will stop crafting so you have to stand still to finish the item off and secondly when you put items on the floor they will eventually disappear. That's current to this experimental patch. So I don't know whether they're going to make that items on the floor persistent in stable when, they go, when this goes to stable. But currently, if you leave, say, lumber on the floor, it will disappear after a period of time. 
This is the two by one wall. You can see it here. Just slot in a little bit of moving around there. This is the 1.3 times two wall. Let's see it here. It's got a completely different look, isn't it? Okay, this is the ramp, the 1.3 to 2 times 1. Uh, you can see, let's replace it here. There are a range of ramps. Now this, you see, takes it up to the next level. This is the lower, longer ramp. Some items, such as the door, the wooden door or the lockable door, require scrap metal. You can see here, now to get scrap metal what you need to do is have the hammer. Grab the hammer out and just hit a car, find the map and you'll get a bit of scrap metal off it. Pick it up, you can put it in your inventory and you can see it just there. Uh, the doors don't need door frames or something for them to slot into. They're freestanding. This one here is a lockable door that I've made with two scrap metal and one wood wall panel. Let's place that. And of course ideally what you want to do is place it next to your walls. You can see here. When you're placing items, you can rotate the items simply by holding the ALT button down and moving your mouse left or right to create the pivot and get all sorts. You can also craft a light. It's called the Tiki Light. As you see, it basically stands on a on a strip of wood on a plank of wood. Place it in there. There it is. Once you've built your house, you can make yourself a bed. Let's put that down here. You can also place down a table and chairs to craft these separately. table you can also place a storage unit you can build sandbag walls so you can see here have a look at those in a, another video and we also have in structures we have tires and you can stack those. We'll have a look at those in another video as well. But for the moment, in the wood section, we've covered just about everything. All the furniture. This this, as I say before, is the basic stuff you begin with. You don't start with the more complex blueprints. You have to find those in game. As you can see, there are a range of different wall sections you can use, as well as walkways, to create um, a basic base. This one's quite small, obviously you want to spend a lot more time on it, build the walls up. You can ping the walls on top of one another so you can build the levels up. And using these ramps, you can therefore then build a higher level around. Um, and we have the furniture as well. I really like the way this looks. The graphics are amazing. It feels like someone who's not an expert builder is cobbling together planks and making themselves a base. This is how it would probably be if you were in a, an apocalypse. It would kind of look like this. You'd want to try and make it as secure as possible, but you wouldn't necessarily have the skills. So I think it's probably the most realistic base building system that I have actually used in any game, and I've used a lot of the base building 
systems. This, as I said before, is inexperimental in the whitelist server. It's not in stable as yet, but it will be coming soon. So guys, keep your eyes peeled for this. I'm going to bring you more on base building once I spend some more time in the game. But for the moment, this is the basics. This is what you start with. So guys, I hope it helped. I'm looking forward to seeing some of your bases. It's exciting. Miscreate is growing all the time and we are here to watch it and record it for you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Take care and I will see you in the next video.